Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Total of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And today's video is going to be my June book haul and I am so excited to share this haul with you guys. I got some pretty awesome things. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is a birthday gift that I got from my sis Angela over at Transform Through God's Word. I absolutely adore her. I love her to pieces. That is my sister in Christ, my sister in everything. I love her so much. Definitely check out her YouTube channel. It'll be linked down below as well as her Facebook group and her Facebook page. But she sent me a gift and it is so me that I love it so much. Um, so the first thing is this mug and it came in this gorgeous little gift box i just love the way the gift box looks it is so pretty that i can't throw it out i just have to leave it on my bookshelf but um it's this gorgeous little mug like this mug is so pretty i have to hold it back here so you guys can see it but um it's such a pretty mug i love the blue with the gold and the yeah the baby blue and the purple and the pink um, the scripture on here is Psalms 20 and 4. It says, may he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. I adore this mug so much. I drink out of it every night. It's amazing. And with that, she also sent me a journal. And I'm, I'm a journaler. I love journaling. I don't do it as often as I like, but um, I love notebooks for anything, whether it be journaling or doing notes and stuff like that. I kept a little birthday note that... um. <laughs> she put on the order form so I, I kept it in here but this is a journal i love it again it's that royal blue with the gold for you it has gold gilded edges and the paper itself is like really pretty um and i just i can't wait to dive into this i'm probably going to use this as my next prayer journal because it's so compact cute with the gold for you i really love it but um i love it so much again thank you sis if you're watching this i adore the journal and i adore the mug so much but um that's that okay so now let's just get into everything else um i guess i can start off with joyce meyer you guys know joyce meyer does the donations um donations where you can get some of her items on donation fees some of them are require no amount and some items do require a specific amount i just got three things um this time around i'm debating on getting some things for this month but this stuff was like the june ish the june kind of i guess selection so um the first item i got is wake up to the word 365 devotions to inspire you each day i love joyce meyer's um devotional books i have a lot of them on ebook but i was able to get this one as a physical copy and i absolutely adore her devotionals they're really awesome and this one just is so pretty on the inside but i'm excited to dive into this I'm, i don't know when i'm going to just because i have so many devotionals um, I'm a girl that loves devotionals. I don't use them to study the word, but I use them to guide me in studying the word, especially in the morning when I first wake up. Devotionals are like the best or even at night. But um, I have this one here and it retails for $17 US, but I didn't pay that. I paid a, donat a donation fee for this. Um, along with that, I got this CD here. It's the Law of Gradual Growth. It was the resource of the month of um, June. So it looks like that. And then I got this set here. It's a CD and a DVD set. It's called Setting Things Straight. Again, Joyce Meyer does packaging so well. Whoever packages her items, phenomenal job. You guys are like awesome. But I have this and um, it does come with a little booklet as well. That looks like this. It's the four keys to resetting your life. And I really like it like a lot. There are scriptures and places to jot down notes. So I like that. And then you get, if I can get this in frame. So in the center, you have the four CDs and then you have the DVD on this side. So I really like how her packaging is, like her packaging seriously is the best. Um, the next thing I got is this book here. Where did I get this from? I got this from Bethany House. Now, um, if you guys saw my July reads and studies you know that i'm currently into christian fiction more so the biblical hit fiction but um i saw that they had this book up for review from bethany house and decided to request it it seems like a really good one and i don't know i'm probably going to get into this soon probably after i finish reading in the fields of grace once i'm done with pearl and sand but this one is called falling for you a bradford bradford sisters romance by becky wade i have never heard anything about this author so if you have let me know if you read this book let me know um 
but yeah i'm excited to give this one a go it seems like a really good romance novel um it's about a model and a former nfl quarterback and their ex-boyfriend and girlfriend but i guess something happens and puts them back in each other's lives so i'm excited to see how this one goes and that's the book there hope you guys can see it okay so i got you guys know i place an order on christian book because they always send me coupons like 35 dollars all free shipping stuff <sighs> they always do this to me but i got this bible it was on sale for five dollars on the site so i got it this is the aw tozer tozer bible in the king james translation and i know a lot of people in the christian community rave about this person um this aw tells her i don't know who he is but i know that he has a lot of great work i am in the process of working on getting most of well some of his work actually um so yeah i have his bible and it looks like this i got it from christianbook.com for five bucks it was on sale for five bucks i snagged it up and i like it because it has a lot of uh reflections and challenges words of i'm sorry reflections challenges it has inserts from like his various different books or from when he like did speaking engagements and things like that um i think this is a really great book it is a red letter text bible you guys know i love my red letter text it's a red letter text bible um it does have cross references in here there is a good amount of uh, concordance in here like this concordance is really hefty back here i really really like that let me see if i can show you guys like how big this concordance is i think this concordance is even bigger than the one that i have in my woman's study bible this is the size of the concordance in this bible um and then it has a section of citations from his work and then full color maps which are really really pretty so you know i really like this bible i haven't gotten a chance to dive into it because i want to do a flip through first before i do but um taking off the cover you have this cover so it's a really nice bible and i'm excited to use it and read more about aw tozer and his work the next book i got was one that i received for review i'm actually um, a part of the launch team for it and it doesn't go on sale until September 11th, but it is a recipe book and um, my family will be going through uh, something soon and I'm going to have to cook a lot more for my family. So I got this book um, and it is Eat at Home Tonight, 101 Simple Busy Family Recipes for Your Slow Cooker, Sheet Pan, Instant Pot and More. And it's by Steph Tiffany King. So I'm excited about this. I will have a review on this book around the time of the launch team um i'm sorry when the book launches because i'm a part of the launch team like i said but um it's a really one it's a really good one there are different recipes in here some things i've never tried um some things i will try <laughs> but yeah got that one you guys already saw this book in my july reads and studies this is by dr larry crab is when god's ways make no sense i am loving this book i'm currently reading this book so good so good and it's literally what it sounds like when god's ways make no sense it talks about um jonah saul who basically became paul and then um also habak and the different ways that we can react to um god when his ways make no sense you know we can run we can distort or we can tremble and trust him and this book came right on time like literally right on time when i needed it and so far i'm loving it like i said i'm 29 pages in and it's mind-blowing i'm taking a lot of notes in the book it's so good okay so moving on i don't have anything in order like i normally do so bear with me so i received this one from book look bloggers book look I can't remember the name of the site, but I'll put it on the screen here. You can check it out. It's another kind of book blog um, website where you can request books to review. And I got approved and I decided to get my hands on this one because I did have an ebook copy, but I saw that they had a physical copy up. So I got it. And this is by Jess Connolly and Haley Morgan. And it's always enough, never too much. 100 devotions to quit comparing, stop hiding, and start living wild and free. Here is what that book looks like. But the thing about this book that I love so much is you notice that the uh, bottom title, which says Never Too Much, is written upside down. 
this is actually a flip book so what I mean by that is it looks like this right and you flip it over and you have never too much and then always enough is upside down so literally you get 50 devotions on one side and then when you turn it to this side over here you see that it's upside down so you flip it over and you get 50 more devotions i think that is such a cool aspect to this book um it makes it fun and you really are getting two books for one price um, and it makes the reading experience fun. So I really can't wait to dive full force into this um, devotional. I glanced through it, read a few of the devotions for review, of course. But I can't wait to personally like dive in and read this one for sure. The next thing I have is this DVD study. It's called Discover Your Role in the Gospel Awakening. And it's hosted by Sheridan Bossy, featuring Joe Stowell, Vivian Mabuni and Artie Lindsay. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's um, from the Gospel Here and Now book, which I do have an e-copy of that, which I got from NetGalley. But um, yeah, I got a bunch of these from Our Daily Bread from their website, and um, I can't wait to dive into this. I have another study from Sher Sheridan Vossi, actually, that I haven't did yet. It's a DVD study um, that I actually probably should dive into soon, but I have the DVD study of this one right here. Um, next is a book that I've been dying to get. There is a Bible study that goes with this book that I'm working on getting. Um, but it's Discerning the Voice of God, How to Recognize When God is Speaking by Priscilla Shire. I write about Priscilla Shire a lot. I love her so much. She is the author of Fervent and she was, a she played the role of Elizabeth in the movie War Room. She is also the daughter of Tony Evans phenomenal phenomenal woman i love her spirit her soul i watch a lot of her sermons um she does a lot of preaching on the armor of god and um yeah i'm excited about this book here it's just the book um like i said there is a bible study and it's a gorgeous bible study it's like a white book with gold foiling on it it's so pretty but my mom had purchased this book for me um we went to hobby lobby to grab some stickers if you saw that sticker haul i showed this book she actually purchased her cop herself a copy and i asked her to buy me a copy so she did so i have that then i have review books i think um most of these are going to be review books um this one is called battle ready it's train your mind to conquer challenges defeat doubt and live victoriously by kelly belair Bellari. i'm not sure how to pronounce that but i know that lisa turkers did blurb this book um so i knew that it was going to be a good one it's really gorgeous i hope when i edit it that the editing of the uh lighting will make this pop the way it should because it's a gorgeous kind of purplish blue cover with gold foiling really really pretty book the next book i have is 12 faithful men portraits of courageous endurance and pastoral ministry by colin hansen and jeff robinson forwarded by ray ortland i've never heard of any of these people at all and i'm so sorry you guys i forgot to tell you so this book here is from baker books as well as this one here is from baker books publishing you guys know i'm a part of their blog kind of communities um but yeah i've never heard of anything anything of this book and this talks about the Apostle Paul, John Calvin, Charles Bergen, John Bunyan, Wang Ming Dao, and a few other men. And um, I like that this doesn't focus on like biblical men. It does talk about Paul the Apostle. But um, this focuses on a lot more of like men in everyday life, which I think is pretty cool. So, 12 Faithful Men. These next three are from, yeah, the next three are from BH Bloggers and Lifeway. So this one is Stop Asking Jesus Into Your Heart, Teen Edition. How to Know For Sure You Are Saved. It's by J.D. Greer. Um, this was a book that I really wasn't going to request um, because I thought the title was a little crazy. I mean, Stop Asking Jesus Into Your Heart. Why would you do that? But um, as I read the back of it, it made a lot more sense. Um, because as a teen, I didn't think this, but I know that a lot of my friends thought that, um, you know, they would have to continuously get saved. 
But a lot of teens don't know that once you make that commitment and you are saved, you're saved for life. So that's what this is about. It says, why is it so difficult to know that you are saved? It's basically knowing that you're saved. Um, you don't have to continuously be saved. Once you're saved, that's it. So once I understood the concept of the book and why the book was titled as such, I definitely decided to get my hands on it. And I'm excited to get into this and dive in because I think this is going to be a great book to um read so that i can have the knowledge in my mind so that when i do speak to youth um i can explain it in a better way of how you're saved for life so i have this book here this next book is called preaching by the book developing and delivering text driven sermons by r scott pace and um it's from hobbs college library obu i'm not sure what obu stands for but oh Oklahoma Baptist University um and here's what the book looks like I got this book because I know the calling on my life I know where God has me directed it's been mentioned to me so many times my calling and my purpose um in the king kingdom of God I know exactly what it is so I got this book to help me prepare to write sermons and um different things like that because I'm a little nervous. I know the time is going to come when I do have to preach the word. Um, I'm not sure when, but I want to be prepared um, and be able to do so mindfully, I guess, if that's the proper way. So that's why I got this book, because it talks about text-driven sermons. So I'm um, in text being the scriptures, obviously. So that's that. And then the last one I got from BH Books is called Leading Major Change in Your Ministry by Jeff iorg iorg i think that's how you pronounce his name i'm probably butchering it i'm so sorry but it's basically about change in the ministry pretty much what this book is and i got it because there is change going on in my church's ministry um there's change going on in my personal ministry and what i do with soda of increase and i love reading books like this that can um help me understand a lot more because like i said i see where god has me going and it is terrifying but i'm trusting him and just moving forward in it instead of running from it so that's why i got that book the next one is called the return it's reflections on loving god back by lacey strum this is from baker books as well um I'm, I'm not even gonna lie I don't remember what this book is about I requested it don't remember what it's about but the cover is thinking gorgeous you guys see that cover like like I said I hope when I edit this video you can see because it's a nice dark white with black but that gold foil it's really pretty quickly it says have you ever asked yourself what's the point of this life of the same everydayness that can weigh on that can weigh on us is this really a gift from the loving God? If so, shouldn't our souls burn to love him back with our lives? What does that look like? In the return, best-selling author Lacey Strum offers a collection of thoughts on how Jesus helps us see the world with new eyes and make mundane things in life beautiful. So I'm excited for this. Oh, this is so cute. Like, I didn't even browse through the book, you guys. I'm just now looking through. There's like journal entries in here that she wrote. There are photos and just, I don't know if this, I think this is a poem in here. This is a cute little fun book. Okay, so I definitely have to put this on my reading list um, for sure. There's like photos in here, art pictures. I love little doodles throughout the book. Oh my God. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so. I think this is stuff that she wrote down herself, like in her own personal journal that was typed up from like 2014 and songs. And oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, I I am, okay, definitely going to be reading this one. That, that is awesome. The next book I actually purchased myself from ChristianBook.com, along with that of uh, A.W. Tells Her Bible, is from Carrie and Chris Shook. It's One Month to Love, 30 Days to Grow and Deepen Your Closest Relationships. Um, improve Your Most Important Relationships Today. It's a husband and wife duo, and I'm excited to read this. This includes weekly focuses and daily readings to guide you through the process. And um, 
anything having to do with relationship and love i definitely want to grow and expand on because my idea of love and relationships was distorted um now don't get me wrong i'm in a relationship i've been with my fiance now for six years come september we've been together we do have a son who's four um so i mean we've been together for a minute but our relationship has i guess hit a snag in a sense um and it's more so due to me on my end because i'm starting to realize a lot more things about myself um and about how i look at relationships and i really want to separate a lot more things and value myself more now i know that may sound crazy to some of you out there but um i'm just realizing a lot more and the more that i realize um the more that i know god is calling me to a certain thing to do within my relationship but i also am the type of person to completely shut down and not talk my fiance is a very like talk it out kind of person he loves talking I'm more of the shut down, keep it to myself, or write it out kind of person. And that kind of clashes with us because sometimes it can be awkwardly silent. Um, and it's not that I purposely do it. It's just a habit. It's something that I'm used to. It's something that is normal to me and it's not healthy for my relationship. So books like this um, here will obviously help me understand my relationship better. And um, my desire, honestly, is to get my relationship to back to how it was when we first met but without all the craziness that we did i absolutely do love my fiance with all my heart like i love that man to death like i love him um to pieces he is my everything i know for sure that that is the man that god has given me but it's a struggle for me personally because i'm so used to doing certain things and um, it's a struggle as well because he's used to a certain way and he expects certain things um, that I just don't live up to. Um, and it takes me a little bit more time to get there. So it is definitely a struggle. We both dearly love each other. Um, we're in love with each other. It's not that I just have love for him. I am in love with my fiance. Like I want to marry him and spend the rest of my life with him. And though we should have been married years ago, I'm kind of glad that we didn't rush it. Um, I'm glad that the Lord has decided to direct it a different way because I feel like if we would have gotten married, we either would have been divorced or completely miserable. And that's not what I want. I do want a healthy marriage. I do want a marriage and a relationship that builds on something other than um, what I was used to. And what I mean that, I mean like sex, like, you know, sex and uh, other stupid things, basically and you know that's just me so i'm excited to read this book again i did get this from christianbook.com this is another review book that i got from baker's book it is called quit church <laughs> because your life would be better if you did and um i get it this is another one of those books where i was saying with the stop asking jesus into your life into your heart it was a little weird but when you understand what he was saying i got it because a lot of people think that um the church is the building but the church is not the building you yourself are the church i'm the church so a lot of people miss misunderstand the church and the church becomes more about politics and business when it should be more so about the kingdom of God. So um, it says, let's face it, church isn't working. How many of us are actually living the abundant life Jesus promised? How many of our churches are thriving? How many of us are experiencing God's blessings? Maybe it's time to call it quick. Quit church? Well, not exactly. Drawing from his experiences, teaching hundreds of churches toward true growth, Chris Sonkin, I think that's how you say his name, Son Sonkin? I'm having a hard time pronouncing his name. Song Sin calls on us to quit our casual cultural commitment to church as we know it. No more half-hearted attempts to win the favor of God and other people by doing the right thing. No more doing things out of sense of duty. Instead, he reveals the spiritual habits that release the blessings of God both on each individual and on the church. He explains why we struggle to put these practices into action and gives practical solutions to move us forward into health, growth, and maturity. Um, Mark Batterson did blurb this book, so I knew that it was going to be a good one. And I agree, the church definitely is um, very much misconstrued. And it's not seen as it should be. And a lot of people blame the church for things that they shouldn't. Um, so 
I'm pretty much excited to read that and see what that's about. This is another book I got from Baker Books. Um, it is called The Power of Vision, Discover and Apply God's Plan for Your Life in Ministry by George, George Barna. This is another book that I got because I know the direction God has me going. I've been ministered to, prophesied to um, by my pastor, by my bishop, um, by other pastors that I don't know, other pastors that know me. It, it, it's coming. I know it is. And um, this is going to be a book that I dive into to learn more. It's about sermons and printed materials, letters, um, articulating the vision, how your ministry will benefit, and, um, you know, the character of God's vision. So I'm excited about a lot of these books. If you, if you can see, they're a lot more on the biblical ends of, like, ministry building and sermon and preaching because... God has me going in that area. So, yeah. Okay, so here's the last book that I purchased on um, ChristianBook.com. And it's 12 More Women of the Bible, which is um, edited by Sherry Harney. This is basically a Bible study that I, I... Okay, so the thing was, in June, I started the first one, which was 12 Women of the Bible. And I stopped <laughs> because it was just too much going on. But they did have a second video, um, a second book study to that. So it's 24 women that they go through. So I got this because I would feel incomplete just having the first book and not the second one. Whatever. Um, the next one oh, is another one that I purchased. <laughs> and it's seamless. You guys saw this if you saw my June, um, not June, my July studies and reads. I'm supposed to be studying this for the month of July with Proverbs 31 Online Ministries. But that's not going to happen because I have so much going on. Um, study wise so I will be doing the video sessions for this only and then going back to do the actual like assignments down the line but um I did get this by Angie Smith this one is understanding the Bible as one complete story so she basically goes through the Bible um and obviously not all the stories but she goes through the main points of the Bible and um what I like is in the back here there's a fold out of all the different aspects of it so you really can't see it but um you have creation man and woman fall flood tower um the call being renamed the 12 tribes how they were sold egypt they were slaves the oppression the exodus the wander it goes to the promised land to the judges the united kingdom to the temple the divided kingdom to the exile to the return to christ being born to the 12 disciples to the ministry of jesus to his death, to the church, to the persecution of the apostles, and then the Gentiles being, um, I guess, transformed to the spread, to the letters, and the revelation. So she goes through the entire book of the Bible. This is a six-week study, a seven-week study, actually. And um, obviously, like I said, she's not going to hit all the main, like, all the points in the Bible, but she gets to the main points that have to do with those um, threads, I guess you could say. I was really enjoying it, but I had to stop because it was just too much. My mind was being um, a little overwhelmed. So that's that. And then the last things are from Moody Publishers. You know, I work with them as well as a book book blogger. I have a bunch from them, like a bunch. So I'm going to show these last because those are things that I'll be giving away. But um, I have this Bible study here, which is actually a recent Bible study that came out um, on the book of Colossians. And it is He is Enough, Living in the Fullness of Jesus. It's a six-week study of Colossians by Eshrita Sisu. I'm probably saying her name wrong, but she is the creator of the Feast Method, if you've ever heard of that on YouTube. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. But she actually created a study, and Moody published it. So, yeah. And I am excited to dive into this. Now, this one I have two copies of because either I made a mistake or the company made a mistake, but I could have sworn that I didn't make the mistake, but whatever. Um, it's two copies of <laughs> another Bible study, and it's called the Unex it's called An Unexplainable Life, Recovering the Wonder and Devotion of the Early Church by Erica, Erica Wiggenhorn. It's a 10-week study of Acts 1-12. through 12. There is a second book, which should be coming in the mail. Um... I can't remember what it's titled. I don't think they have the actual name of that study here. But I'll show you guys 
in a second but um this is the first one there is a second one that they have that goes with this um but this is on acts 1 through 12 i ended up getting two copies of this um so i'm gonna actually be giving a copy to my mom because she really wants a copy so this one is my copy and then this one is her copy but it's literally a 10-week study of the book of acts now if my mother doesn't use this i will be giving it away to someone but <laughs> um yeah i have two copies of that book for some odd reason and lastly from moody um when i did receive the two copies i had got a bunch of their one week samplers so it's literally one week of um all of their bible studies and i literally have all of their bible studies except for one that i'm waiting on to come in the mail but i have every single one of their women's bible studies so we have i am found here by Laura Dingman. It's Quitting the Game of Hide and Seek with God and Others. It's a six-week Bible study. I do own, do own a full copy of this, but I do have this sampler that I'll be giving away. Included in Christ, this one is by Heather Coleman. I'm sorry, Heather Holloman. And um, this is a book of, a study on the book of Ephesians. It's a six-week study. Eight weeks, sorry you guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. This is an eight week study and it's just a one week session. The Unexplainable Life, um, or An Unexplainable Life, which you've already saw me show you the actual books of that. This is a one week study for that. This is the second book to that book. So this one is Acts 1 through 12 and then The Unexplainable Church is Acts 13 to 22. Or is it 28? I think this is 28. Um... <laughs> So I'm excited for this to come in the mail, waiting for this book to come, but this is just a one week session. His Last Words, this is by Kim Erickson. It's a study of John 13 through 17. And I'll actually be utilizing this um, book when I do the John study when I'm closer to books 13, chapters 13 and 17. So you'll see this book again. Um, this one is a six week study called This I Know by Laura Dingman. It is trusting your unknown future to a known God. And the last one I have here is by Becky Harling. It's an eight-week study, and it's called Who Do You Say That I Am? A Fresh Encounter for Deeper Faith. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to let you guys know, but I think I'm going to do a giveaway on this separately when I do... Um, the bible journaling giveaway i'm not sure how i don't know i want to do one on instagram i want to do one on facebook and i want to do one on um youtube so i have seven books here i should be getting more of these in the mail soon hopefully if i do i'll be able to do two different giveaways and give the whole stack away and it's just one week of each so that you can try the studies out for yourself see if you like them and if you do then you can obviously purchase the studies on your own but um yeah all of these studies they're just one week sessions, um, which include five days of actual like assignment work, which I think is awesome that you get the opportunity to do five days of work um, and get to see how it dives into the word of God. So that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm missing anything else for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.